Welcome to Problems and Solutions. I am your host, Kathy Blythe, and it's always fun when we can talk about pets on problems. For Lincoln native Kathy Blythe, what was to become a one semester detour on the path to becoming an elementary school teacher has turned into a radio career that spans almost 40 years. Despite all of Kathy's accomplishments, she cherishes most her husband of 27 years, Wayne, and being Molly's mom and Dorothy's daughter. But to understand Kathy Blythe's success, you only need to hear from those who know her best. Uh, when Kathy was a student at Kearney State College, uh, one of her jobs that she had off campus was as a welder. And um, the job didn't last very long because she caught her hair on fire. <laughs> well, Kathy was born with a, a, a very pleasant voice, so I was really pleased when she applied to KFOR uh, as a receptionist and I thought well if things don't work out at KFOR she could probably still go back to welding if she would tie her hair back and um, so far she hasn't had to go back to welding. I'm pleased about that. <laughs> Kathy this is a real big night for you and it's a big night for me also. I remember way back when you were first hired at KFOR and you were a receptionist. And I remember all the compliments we used to receive about the smile in your voice and how friendly you were. One day I said to Roger Larson, you know, we should put this girl on the morning in our morning show. Many of you uh, have seen Kathy in personal appearances and so forth. And she always had a smile on her face. Well, she had a smile on her voice uh, when she was on the air. And I think that's what distinguished her. And uh, she uh, remembered individual listeners. And when she'd see them uh, in public, she would speak to them. She was an open, or she is an open person who is always welcome to talk to anyone. And, and people love her for that. Uh, when we were together at the station, uh, she always talked about connecting with listeners one-on-one -on -one when, when a lot of us were thinking more in terms of let's connect with this whole group, but I think that brought us a nice balance. Uh, and she held herself and, and her co-workers to a really high standard uh, and still does to this day uh, about what she believes KFOR means to the community, uh, what a heritage radio station means to a community, and Kathy held herself and uh, the rest of us to that standard, and I think that really distinguished her. I heard a discussion about performers uh, having an emotional equity built up with their audiences and uh, I don't know of anyone in the state of Nebraska who has built up a larger emotional equity with their audience than Kathy Blythe and uh, it's, uh, it's a remarkable thing to look at and a great thing for broadcasters to look at and be thoughtful about as well. Kathy is our Oprah of Lincoln and I I think if you ask anybody that listens to KFOR, they would agree with that. And, and that's why she's deserving of the Hall of Fame. She is a special gem for the Lincoln market. We both kind of came together on the morning show at the same time, and, and uh, that was in 1982. And so we've been longtime buddies. And she's, and I've learned long ago, uh, she's also a, a huge favorite with our audience. She's a, a true star. In this business, uh, myself included, you kind of have to have an ego to do it. And she uh, does not have an ego. She would rather shun the spotlight than be in the spotlight. And she is so very deserving of this award, we had to keep it a secret from her because she would never have allowed us to enter her for this award had she, uh, had she known about it, this honor. And you know, if there's a broadcasting legend in, in the state, it, it is Kathy Blythe. This is not the real Kathy. What the, the real Kathy is the person that you hear on the radio every day. She is the same sincere person that you hear on the air as you will meet at a remote, as you will see her in her living room when she's entertaining, because that's what makes Kathy, Kathy, and what puts her into the Hall of Fame. No one treats the listener better than Kathy. In fact, she treats everyone great. I'm guessing right now, as we speak, Kathy, you're mentally writing the thank you notes to all the people responsible for making this event possible tonight, aren't you? Yeah, well, I want to thank you. I couldn't be happier for you tonight. This is an honor that is richly deserved, and I hope you're really just living it up big tonight. Congratulations, Kathy. But Kathy isn't just a broadcaster that impresses those she works with. She's an innovator, 
and is inspiring a new generation of future broadcasters and communication professionals. I feel very honored, very blessed, and a little bit privileged that I get to work with such amazing talent every day. I'm Kathy's daughter, Molly. She's been on the morning show my whole life, and I didn't know anyone else who had to tuck their mom in at night. But we had lots of good times together in the afternoon when most other people's parents were working and my mom was home then. And her schedule was really good because she never had to miss any of my events. But personal anecdotes aside, my mother has also inspired me to become professionally involved in the communication field. Seeing her play a role in so many people's lives through not only her on-air conversations, but also her contributions to the local community was truly a motivating factor in my career decision. That's what so many people love about her. She's not just entertaining and interesting to listen to on air, but she's also active in outside radio events, treating each listener she meets as if they are the most important person in that moment, taking the time to get to know them, remembering to send them a thoughtful card on a special occasion, and making the effort to thank them for their loyalty as a listener. I think it's those kind and considerate personal touches that set my mother apart from the rest of the successful broadcasting professionals. I just want to wrap up by saying I'm proud of you, Mom, and I couldn't think of a more deserving person to receive this prestigious honor. And thank you to the NBA for bestowing this award upon her. I know she is extremely grateful, and this is the perfect way to thank her for her years of service and achievements in the radio industry. In 1992, Kathy started her own one-hour talk show, which she calls Non-Combat Radio. Problems and Solutions is now syndicated on sister stations in Nebraska, South Dakota, and Minnesota. And she continues to interview local and national experts five days a week. She's written 27 cookbooks with submissions from her listeners. Kathy Blythe is a two-time Marconi Award winner and recipient of numerous awards from both the Nebraska Broadcasters Association and the AP. She's also been named a distinguished alumnus from Southeast High School. With all that Kathy has accomplished, she's still humbly gives credit to her morning show co-hosts Anna Roger Larson, Dick Chapin, Joy Patton, Gary Buchanan, and Roland Johnson for their ongoing support. In September of 2011, Kathy celebrates her 30th year as co-host of the KFOR Morning Show. There isn't enough time to say enough nice things about Kathy Blythe, now a member of the Nebraska Broadcasters Hall of Fame.